Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming to part two of this unboxing video about the Curiosity Inc. Um, if you're not, fam not familiar with Curiosity Inc., it is a couple, well, Alex is the proprietor of a antique store, collectible store in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And he's done a fantastic job of building his business up and he wants to expand it even more. He's going to build a cafe and to do this, he took on some risks. And one of the big risks that he took on was to purchase the contents of Madame Rack or the musician's house. And the story is absolutely fantastic. So please do check it out on his channel. I'll make sure to link it below. Um, but uh, what I've got tonight is the part two of an unboxing of some of the goodies that I bought from Madame Rack's house as part of an auction, a fundraiser for Alex to expand his business and build this cafe. And uh, I want to start off at first with mentioning an, another person who bought a lot of lots on the Curiosity Inc. auction from Kasner's auction house. And that is Melan Melanie. Serendipity by Melanie is the name of her channel, and I'll link it below. And uh, Melanie, oh boy, her story is pretty amazing. I interviewed her right after the auction. You can see that on my um, list there. On the, It was right before my live sale. And uh, Melanie came on and told her her story, and it's really amazing. She is a smart businesswoman who's building up her business, building up her new channel. So I hope you'll support her as well. And if you've come here after watching something of Melanie's, thank you for that. Please do remember to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and definitely comment after you're finished watching and let me know, you know, what you thought of this unboxing because it's, it's pretty exciting stuff. So... Um, a bit, a little, little bit about me before I get going here, and that is that I'm a reseller. I have been reselling since 2011, so uh, you know, quite a long time. And I sell mostly on Etsy, so I have an Etsy store, Vintageress on Etsy. Again, I'll put the link below. I have actually listed some of the items from the part one already on Etsy. So I have two listings: one for the um, boat vase so I'll show you that so it's nice and cleaned up now so here it is after its bath it's in great shape there are no chips cracks nothing like that so that's really made me happy and it's you know hall pottery there's the stamp on the bottom yeah so it cleaned up very very nicely and just beautiful beautiful coloring so pinks and greens it's their woodlands, the woodland pattern. Yeah, and it's like a console bowl or a banana bowl, banana boat bowl or whatever you want to call it, boat bowl. <laughs> you can give it a name. And uh, so I've listed that on Etsy. Now, when you look at my prices on Etsy, remember that they include shipping. So it's shipping to anywhere in Canada or the US and it's reduced shipping for anyone overseas. So. Um, you can see if the if I ship to your country as well if you're if you're looking from overseas. So I thought I'd show you first of all some of the cleaned up stuff. Um, I've listed so I listed the uh, the boat uh, vase, but I've also listed all of these dishes, and it's this um, uh, pattern by Moet, um, uh, and it's called. Uh oh, I'm already forgetting. Let me find it. That's on the back of the plates. Um, Molly O'Day. How could I forget that? Molly O'Day. What a great name. So that's the pattern name. It's quite striking. I really, really like this pattern. It's just really interesting botanicals. Anybody know the name of that plant? If you do, please put it in the comments below. I'd be interested to know. So there was a saucer. And there were two lunch plates. The lunch plates are the only thing that I saw just a slight bit of damage, and it's minor. There's a tiny chip, so you can see it. 
super tiny. I don't even know if it's going to show up on camera, actually. Right there. Do you see that little black or darker mark? That's a tiny little chip. And there's a similar one on the other one, too. Very similar um, type of chip. So that's the only damage I could find, though. So very, very amazing for this set. So the saucer, the two lunch plates, there were two nappies, one of which I'll throw in for free if anybody buys these dishes because I'm not selling this. It's been damaged. I'm assuming you know, whether it's dishwasher or they used it to soak their dentures or something. Who knows <laughs> why, why it's faded like that. But yeah, so and then there's two kind of plat over. Oh, this is an oval dish platter, you could call it, or vegetable dish, maybe asparagus. Um, and then this is the bigger serving platter. And then we'll wait till you see how nicely the um, sugar dish came out. Look at this. Just beautiful. So there's this, the sugar dish after, after its bath. It's, it's really gorgeous. And it's in great shape. The only little bit of, of, if you want to even call it damage, I mean, there's a bit of sort of discoloring around the edge. And I would say, I would kind of call it crazing, just, but just on the inside rim here. So really, for the age of the piece, um, you know, these are from the 30s. So, you know, you have to expect a little bit of vintage charm to it, I'm calling it, right? So those are all listed on my Etsy store. And then the other thing that was in that first lot was this Buseware, and didn't it clean up nicely too? Buseware Canada. Um, let's see if I can get the, uh, the name to show up there. You can kind of see it there. Buseware Canada Planter. This I'm going to save for my March the 2nd Tuesday live sale. And I'll do what's called an offer up. So the best offer will get this on, on Tuesday, March the 2nd. So I'll save that for the auction. So that was all the stuff from part one. So if you haven't watched part one, you can go back and watch the unboxing. Or I kind of gave you a little bit of a spoiler alert there. <laughs> But one of the things that I did on the first the first go round was each piece came wrapped in bubble wrap and shrink wrap and, um, you know, wound around it. And it made quite a bit of noise, I noticed when I rewatched the, the video. So I thought that I would um, I thought that I would take that shrink wrap off before you guys, before I do this next piece, because I thought it was probably annoying to some anyway. Um, so what I did was I just took the, the shrink wrap off, So, but I haven't opened it further than that. So let's have a look and see what else was in the box. So there's about one, let's see, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think, eight things, seven or eight things. So here's the first one. So it looks like it's some kind of a square dish. I wonder if it matches this use pottery one. Wouldn't that be good? If it matches, that would be awesome. And I came prepared now. I've got alcohol wipes. I've got paper towels. <laughs> Getting serious here. Understand what I'm dealing with now. Because, yeah, then the first unboxing, the, the stuff was really quite dirty. Okay, so it's another interesting little planter, it looks like. Is that another abuse one? Let's see. No, this one says USA. Hmm, interesting. So it's a little planter. Neat, neat shape, very deco looking. I don't know if I see any chips or anything. So, no, so far, so good. That's neat. I love the color, the green. It's very similar to the green of the um, the Buseware, the Canadian pottery. And then there was this, and this has got me really wondering. Hmm, I'm thinking that this is maybe a vase. I mean, it's vase shaped, isn't it? So let's see what this is. This is so much fun. Wow, I have to tell you. <laughs> 
I did spend a lot, right? This whole lot was, oh, you know, close to four, five hundred, I think, in total. When you, you know, you put in the um, cost of postage and or shipping and um, all the fees, right? The auction house gives, charges you fees and taxes as well. So, you know, it adds up. So I probably won't make money. I might might break even, um, but whatever. It's it's part of the fun of being part of this community. Part of the adventure is really the big part of it. Um, that's I think what this is all about, isn't it? And helping them and helping them to to build this cafe. I sure hope that I'm going to be able to to go there and actually see the cafe. Uh, you know, maybe one of my other Canadian buddies and I can go and check it out on a road trip. Have a road trip. Wouldn't that be fun? We could video it. Hint, hint. Melanie, if you're watching. <laughs> oh, Julie, you're a bit far away, but wouldn't that be fun to do, hey? Okay. Uh -oh. This is really well, well taped. I'm preparing myself for it to be really dirty. Oh, it is a vase. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Wow. Cool. You'll hear me say cool a lot. If you come to my channel, <laughs> subscribe to my channel. Yeah, it's probably one of my favorite words, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Okay, so what does this say on the bottom? It says... Six seven nine. Oh, and I can't see. Oh, Silv Silvad, England. Hmm. I haven't ever heard of Silvad. Uh, it's a new pottery I'm going to have to learn about. Very cool. Love the coloring on this one. Really neat. Woo! That's a nice surprise. I didn't see that one. You couldn't see that one in the picture. So that's that's really neat. Hmm. Okay, what's next? So this, oh, this is the weird thing that I could only see the bottom of. So I'm curious about this one to see what it is. And what I'll do is I'll clean these all up. And then I'll do another video showing you them cleaned up. I've still got another box to come yet. It hasn't arrived yet. Oh, it's another vase. Interesting vase. And this one says made in USA and it has E5. Made in USA E5. Could it be, what would I guess? Hmm. McCoy maybe? Usually McCoy though has the McCoy stamp in it. So this will be another one to research for sure. Really cool shape though, right? Really neat and in great shape. And this one's actually pretty clean. Doesn't it's gonna need a little bit of a bath, but that's not too bad. I'm gonna put them in. The other thing I did was I get got a little box for all the dirty things so that I would uh, be able to take them to the sink easier and clean them up, give them a bath. Okay. Woo! So far so good. Now there's one. I think more piece to this, the dishware, right? This looks to me like a cup to go with that saucer. Because there was a saucer. Yep. It's a cup. Yay! So I have a cup and a saucer. Filthy. Absolutely filthy. But that'll clean up. And it's in great shape again. Sweet. So yeah, because I got this saucer so i'll add that to the listing on etsy when i clean it up so nice cup and saucer then sweet that's great and when i've listed them on etsy i've listed them as individual pieces so you can buy one piece if you want um better go fast if you want to get the whole set you're going to have to do it quickly and one thing if you buy the entire set or even if you buy more than three pieces use the coupon code three or more in the checkout when you go to checkout and that'll give you 25% off. So, you know, if you buy more than three, 
um, it's worth it to do that, right? Okay, this is the next piece. So it's a vase, I guess. Again, this one looks like it's glass, from what I can tell. I'm just looking because I can see through to see the brown paper they put inside. That filling the void thing. You know, it's funny, I've never filled the void, ever. Everybody's talked about that on this chat on this this community, but I've never filled the void. Okay, so oh it's a Libby. A Libby vase. Isn't that interesting? So it's the old Libby L. Let's see if you can see that. Let's do it this way. Hmm. I can see it clearly from me on my end, but oh there you go. I think you can see it now. Oh, and there's some bumblebees and Lovely little presents in there. <laughs> I think, what does Melanie call it? A little bit of Madame Rack um, elements or something. I can't remember how she phrased it, but it was cute. And it's it's actually this the shape of this really reminds me of a lot of the Scandinavian glass um, that has a similar kind of shape to it. So I guess they were kind of mimicking that. Hmm, but that's a neat kind of slick vase. Okay, well, a plate of some kind. And in the comments too, if you're a, a Curiosity Ink big fan, which I assume you are if it brought you here, um, do put a comment in if you've seen any of these pieces in any of the videos, because that's kind of a fun thing too. Oh, I remember this in the video. See if you guys remember. Oh, it's absolutely filthy, though. So I'm going to hold it like that. Ah. Do you remember this in the video? You know where I remember this? In the, I think he called it the pass-through. You know, from the dining room into the kitchen. In the older houses, they used to have these things called pass-throughs. And where you could pass, you know, the food from the kitchen into the dining room. And this was kind of this plate I remember was stuck in between the the um, pass through like just a bunch of, bunch of stuff. So that's interesting. I think that's a Johnson Brothers, um, yeah, Johnson Brothers, the friendly village. Yeah, it's really smelling of tobacco and stuff. But of course, after I wash everything, it's fine. So that's the lovely thing about glass in China, is it? You can always get rid of, you know, any of the dust and the, the odors or whatever. Okay, I forgot to take all the shrink wrap off this one. So sorry, guys. I'll kind of try to take it off gently so that it doesn't irritate anybody, any listeners. I have a feeling this is that big pitcher chocolate pot that you could see on the top of the, the auction results. Let's see. So they did package this really well. I would trust Kasner's auction with other breakables. Um, you know, I know Julie from uh, AJ Retro Vintage. She she got a lot of breakables too, and nothing was broken. So that's you know a good sign. It came in a whole bunch of peanuts, packing peanuts that I'll be able to recycle. Um, and but I won't reuse this bubble wrap just because it was so next to such dirty dishes, right? So unfortunately, I won't be able to reuse that. But um, but I definitely will reuse the the um, peanuts, the packing peanuts, right? Because they'd be fine. And that's the thing. I like to try to reuse. I don't really reuse bubble wrap as much as I reuse filler, you know, for boxes. I tend to do that quite a bit. So I'd be curious to know, too, if you're new to my channel, how you got here. Did they recommend this video or did you hear about me from another reseller? It'd be nice to know how you found me. Okay, so this is the picture. Now, I would say Condition-wise, this is probably one of the ones that isn't as in great condition because I'm seeing sort of some paint chippies 
there. Huh. But it's still really cool. Like, look at that. I love the shape of it. Very, very cool. Huh. And so on the bottom, it says made in England and 91. And it's that kind of, I want to call it matte finish to it. And you see that it's kind of more of a matte finish. Yeah, that's really neat. So it's a pitcher. It's not a coffee pot. It's a pitcher or a chocolate pot. Neat. Okay. And we got one more piece. One more. <laughs> so here's the last one in this lot. Oh, this is the, yeah, this is the kind of leaf kind of shape thing I think we could see in the picture. Hmm. So. Oh, this one's, oof, a dusty, dirty one. Ugh. Gonna have to take an antihistamine after all this. Oh, look at this. Isn't that neat? Okay, so what's the stamp on the back? I'm trying not to touch it too much because it's super dirty. Okay. Genuine Staffordshire hand painted, shorter and sun limited England. Hmm. So some more English pottery. Really cool piece. I call it almost a divided dish, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think so. Great. Awesome. So I will clean this stuff up and I will have it for in another video so you can see what it looks after it's had its bath, its shower, and its scrub. Well, I will, I'll scrub it gently. I'll just use a, 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 you know, a soft cloth. That's what I was using for the first round. Um, and do uh, check out my live sales every Tuesday at 6 p.m. on this channel. I will have some of the um, auction items in upcoming sales. So do come and check it out. And please uh, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Like it. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And, and send me a comment below to let me know what you thought. Thanks, everybody. I'm going to not touch my lips, but I'll go. <laughs> and thank you all for coming. And we'll see you again real soon. Bye now.